ready back there? Yeah. But this is one of uh, my, this is one of Strawberry's favorite pieces for me. <clears throat> Forgive me, Queen, but your essence has me shook. And I'm wondering if you taste just as dreamy as you look. Uh -oh. So you got my mind racing. Yeah, my brain is hooked. Got me envisioning us doing things I've read in Zane books, like full-fledged erotica. You and I blowing on each other's bodies like harmonicas. And I know I'm sounding kind of obscene, and maybe I should bump my brakes since I just met you at this poetry scene, but your lips are begging me to kiss you. It's like your hips were inviting me to a naked game of Twister. So I was wondering if you would be uncomfortable if I asked to taste you. Would you make me chase you? And if that's the case, boo, then start running. Because I'm planning on attaching my tongue to that pearl and start humming. I won't ease up until you start coming, not once, but several times. So if you're wearing underwear, make sure they're the edible kind. But I'm planning on you having an incredible time. No, I'm not just trying to seduce you with poetical lines, but I know there's this place called sex to see, and you can't get there without me. I'm trying to anticipate the past from which you begin to have nightmares about me, like this dude is a monster because he always eats it up. Or his bedroom game is a bully because he always beats it up. But this dude should teach classes because anything goes. He makes sure that I know that even hardcore dudes suck toes. <laughs> See, because mental stimulation plus physical satisfaction is what I provide. I got the words that can charm the panties off a of nun plus the passion to fill up her insides. So let's have a late lunch. Because I'm trying to have you early for breakfast. I want your thighs wrapped around my neck like a two little necklace. Damn. I want you on all fours with your head bowed like you're praying to God. But the only thing you be saying is, good Lord, I love when he going so hard. See, I'm trying to keep you wetter than you standing naked with no umbrella during a rainstorm. Visually, you make me brainstorm. Make me want to perform acts of oral pleasure. Creative, yet erotic gestures. Enough to make you come in clumps, call me to make you nutty professor. <laughs> Because I know y'all like it kind of hardcore. Because all that soft, sensual, mushy stuff is not always what you're bargaining for. Especially during those days when you're having a rough day and your boss is working your nerves. That's when I'll be on my way up to your job to give you that hood type of rage that you deserve. Lay your body up on the desk so it situate those sexy curves. Place one leg on my shoulder, let the other hang loose. Let me show you my oral expertise. And I ain't talking about words. See, I dig in deep with an urgency. It's like I'm famished. I need you to nourish me. I refuse to resurface till I feel no hunger pains. Because my mouth is similar to a hurricane. It causes a massive overflows and flood whenever I come through. I want you familiar with every trick that my tongue do. Because I can make your body gyrate as I make my tongue vibrate to any speed be the rhythm. So decide which song you want to come to. So ladies, step into my office and explain all that you're concerned about. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Feelgood's grandson, Mr. Turn You Out. <laughs> Step into my office and explain all that you're concerned about. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Feelgood's grandson, Mr. Turn You Out. That's a title I earned due to my fascination with oral stimulation. So if the vaginal area is clean and shaven, be no hesitation when it's time for tasting. Step up, because time is wasting. Come on. I've been known to bring more hard wood than the basketball court. Yeah. Producing tricks of all sorts. I used to have this juvenile approach, and now I've outgrown that road like Harry Potter at Hogwarts. And some wondered why women were so into me. Cause I bring a few extra inches plus a hook that leaves them hooked and throws them for a curve, literally. <laughs> plus I've been known to put in work diligently. My every grade and A plus. I'm delivering my all so you can't rush. Gotta make sure you bust at least eight nuts. Back to back to back to back in sequence so your pleasure is repetitive. Yeah, I'm competitive. I take off your husband's bedroom job like a greedy executive. Ooh, and you could be my secretary. Penny your skills with dictation. In other words, your ability is stiff take is you can't take it, you won't be the first. See, I've actually had a few complaints of how the hook kind of hurts. See, but I'm an expert when it comes to sexual work. I know you're tired of laying in the bed with him, hoping things will get better, but they seem to be getting worse. But I'm here to help, love, because I know all dudes ain't as bad as me. Before it's over, I have your name your vibrator after me. 
And the worst part is after my touch, you will regret his. And before sleep at night, you'll be longing for that hood sedative. See, my bedroom game speaks volumes. Well, others say close to nothing. I lead all your temptations, so call me David Ruffin. See, I'm headed to loud nine. One simple call from me, I leave you shocking and all of me. You get your soul and all to me. Me cocky? No, but your jaws will be. See, they call me Mr. Turn You Up. Thank you all.